Assalamu alaikum, how are you doing guys? Um, I remember some time ago I went to Chicago, had a, had a uh, sit down with uh, Eddie from the Dean Show and we spoke about this guy who he told me about, I didn't know who he was. His name was, um, I'm looking at his name now, it's Nas Daily. And we've done a video which alhamdulillah is um, getting some good numbers now on the Dean Show etc. Which I, if you haven't seen, you can go and see. Uh, with this guy Nas Daily. Now the point is, uh, he's actually replied to my video. I've noticed that he's got quite a big following on Facebook, by the way, he's got about 10 million people following him on Facebook. Anyway, so he does it, this is his response to the video. He goes, uh, love back. Thanks for respectfully, respectfully dissecting my video. Just to be clear, my video still stands. The guy literally tried to explain why Christianity, Sikhism, Buddhism, etc. are wrong and Islam is right. And that's exactly why I'm not religious. Because of this talk, there's no way every Christian is going to hell. The billion Hindus in India cannot just go to hell simply for, uh, for for not following your belief system. Islam is the solution for you, but five billion others disagree. So let's just stick with that. Let's let's see his logic here. Uh, he says uh, there's no way that uh, X will happen. Before I even start, to be honest with you, I didn't even say in that video that all of the Christians and all the Jews and all the Hindus are going to go to hellfire. That's not a position. Our position is the Quran says very clearly. We've spoken about this at length. It's very important to represent someone's position properly and to pay attention to what they're actually saying. Chapter 17 verse 15 says that we are not going to punish someone until we send them a messenger. So you can have technically, you can have like a, a polytheist, a Christian, a Jew, you know, a Hindu who dies as a Hindu, who dies as a polytheist, but has never understood the real Islam. We should believe Allah will give them an independent test on the Day of Judgment. And we believe that the Creator, Allah, the All-Wise, the All-Knowledgeable, is all just as well. So He would not put someone in a position of oppression. So that's the first problem. But I think there is a hidden presupposition here with this guy, uh, with this brother here, his name is Nas Daily, which is problematic. It's a philosophical problem. He, it's almost as if he's saying there is no ultimate truth, uh, just because there is a number of people who are claiming it. And that's a that's a false premise, you know. Uh, dogma cannot be untrue just because of its. Yeah, sorry. Dogma can't. My phone was ringing. Dogma cannot be untrue just because of its being a dogma. Yeah, there's no philosophical or logical precept which dictates that if someone claims to be on the truth or or claims an absolute truth, that that absolute truth is a false one. Yeah. That there is no there's no precept of that to that uh, effect and he actually makes that's one logical problem there's another problem is that he he falls into a fallacy called the fallacy of incredulity which is that oh i can't just i can't believe something something becomes amazing in your mind that you can't believe it just because you can't conceive it doesn't mean that it's not true so uh that's a, that's an important aspect as well he continues he goes what will god do to them I read my religion carefully for uh, sorry. I read my religion carefully for twenty years, and I can tell you, point blank, that five billion people are non-believers and therefore are going to hell. You read your religion uh, in a very superficial way because you didn't come across this verse, or you don't understand the uh, the the um, the justice system as it relates to the metaphysical Islamic um, afterlife domain, if you like, that um, that is understood by the Muslims. So what kind of world is this? I never started my own religion. That was just a figure of speech. Just to clarify, what I'm doing though, now more than ever, is losing this righteous mentality. Righteous mentality, he says. Look, man, I mean, what is the word religion? There's an interesting uh, discussion of what the word religion actually means. If you look into the dictionary, vernacularly, you know, in the Oxford Dictionary, the word religion has very specific connotations which relates to either kind of looking at a uh, divine uh, creator of all things etc and all ritualistic practices that accompany it but if you look at if you have a multidisciplinary study of what religion is you can define many things as religion the word deen in arabic is more comprehensive than the word religion in english because it just means way of life so i would say you do have a deen yeah you have your own practices that you do it could be that you take yourself your desires your own um sense of moral reasoning as the ultimate barometer for all truth it could be that you take societal expectations or um, post-colonial western infrastructure infrastructure ideology etc as a way of assessing what's true and false these are all possibilities but you can't say that you don't have a way of guiding your life that would be a, a false statement too many people think they're right 
including the guest. Well, it doesn't mean anything. If we think we're right, it doesn't mean that we're wrong. It doesn't follow like that. My fear is that they might be wrong. And I'm not spending the rest of my life following the 2000, uh, one of 2,000 religions just because someone told me to. I hope this makes some sense. Well, once again, you, you make the same point. Uh, there are 2,000 theories, possibly, or more, scientific theories, which relate to uh, cosmological reality. There might be 2,000 false theories, or 1,999 false theories, and one right one. Once again, the premise is a faulty one. You need to, this is my advice to you, Nas Daily, you need to think about how you make your intellectual case, because right now you're not making a good one. I'll be completely honest with you. Philosophically, this is not a good intellectual case. So many people are claiming the truth, therefore I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, maybe take a sophist position, yeah, which is the ancient Greeks, which they said that there is no ultimate truth. If that is your position, then ironically, you have made an ultimate truth statement. <laughs> you know, if you're saying everyone has uh, an opinion of what truth is, and I'm going to remain, I'm going to say that it's all relative, then you're saying it's all relative is an objective value judgment. So there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. People need to just think about rationally, intuitively, logically what is the most uh, valid explanation for how we got here, why we are, and where we're going. And Naz, I hope you do that properly. Uh, and that's my advice to you, my friend.